All right, let's talk about MLA citations and rules when you have question marks and exclamation points within the citation. So, if a quotation falls in the middle of the sentence, place the citation at the end of the sentence so as not to interrupt the flow of your writing. We know that one already from before. Place the author's last name and page numbers inside parentheses at the end of the sentence, followed by a period. And then finally, if an exclamation point or question mark is part of the quote, include it inside the closing quotation mark. Don't place periods right outside the closing quotation marks. So let's kind of walk through some examples to show you what is going on with these rules. So part of a student's essay, you can see that the quotation begins with the word not and ends with exclamation point after the word them. So as we know, our quotations always need to go at the end of our line because they don't want to disrupt our flow of our writing. Though, when we have an exclamation point, we don't pull that punctuation out of our quotations. If it's an exclamation point or a question mark, it gets to stay behind. But if it was a period, we would always remove it because it goes at the end of our sentence. So, as it's shown on here, we have exclamation point, quotation mark, the rest of our sentence, then author's last name, page number, and that's how it ends. So, I'm going to hit exit preview real quick, and we're going to do a couple practice problems together to kind of show you in motion what this stuff looks like. So I have to navigate back in, which will take a brief moment. This is the assignment for today that is due Saturday at noon. It's loading a little slowly on my end this morning, but that's okay. So at the very top, I'm just gonna start the first one and we'll do some practice problems. <clears throat> so as we look through, we have Harry's wonders if he can, he is truly safe after destroying Coral, asking Voldemort. He's going to try other ways of coming back, isn't he? So in our quotation, we have a question mark and a quotation mark, so we don't want to mess with those. So I'm going to put in a space, parentheses, author's last name is Rowling, page number is 216. So this is one example, one prime example on why no red ink is so picky. So I entered the correct information and put the correct period in, but I accidentally hit the space bar at the end. So that goes to show you one final time of how picky no red ink really is when you're entering your citations. So we keep our question mark the same, the quotation mark the same, because we need that information. But then we put a space, of course, and then our parenthetical citation. So author's last name, space, page number, end quote, end parenthesis, period. And then I entered this incorrect space. So we'll see if I can get my three in a row and get out of this. So let's do another one together. Cinderella knows that her stepsisters are merely teasing her when they ask, would you like to go to the ball? So same scenario. I have a question mark followed by a quotation mark. So I'm going to hit space and then do my parenthetical citation. So Hewitt to period. And I'm not hitting the space this time. Let's see what happens. It likes that one way better. All right, moving on to the next one. You are not a good sister and storming out of the room. So this time, the exclamation point in quotation mark is already over here in our sentence. So I'm just going to do like we typically have been doing with in-text citations, where I'll go Lawrence 67, end, quotate, or end parenthesis, then period. Make sure I spelled that right because no red ink will really get you if you get anything wrong. And we'll hit submit. Yep, that's two. And here's a third one we'll do together. The queen flings the haunted mirror out of the castle's highest window and screams, away with you, vile instrument of madness, before shutting herself away in her bedroom. So for this one, same scenario. I like deleting my period because I like putting it in last. So we put in our parentheses, Carlin, 280, and parentheses, period. Oop, I did the space again. I gotta delete that. And then submit. And that's three in a row. So that is over citations using exclamation points and question marks.